Kubernetes is rare, if not unique, in the open source world, in that it was defined very early on as both a project and a community. And there was a really conscious effort to expand the group of people who could be part of this community. So let me look at how Kubernetes has progressed since it joined the CNCF. So Kubernetes is made up of 1.1 million contributions from more than 35,000 people from more than 2,000 companies. And a contributor here is defined as someone who's made a comment or a commit on one of the GitHub repos. So that could be on a, an issue or a pull request or something like that. And these contributors are getting more diverse. So initially, Google and Red Hat made up about 85% of the contributions. So over time, Google and Red Hat continue to contribute, but today they only make up about 35%, which is a good sign because it means that more companies can contribute. It's also getting more geographically diverse. So contributors come from more countries, and after the United States, the second biggest country is now China. And then this graph plots the open source projects by velocity. So the x-axis is the number of commits, the y-axis is the number of pull requests and issues, and then the size of the bubble reflects the number of authors. So Kubernetes is the pink bubble, and then Linux is the purple one to the top right of that. And then KubeCon, CloudNativeCon, is also growing really rapidly. So this year, 23,000 people are expected to come to one of our KubeCon events. 